Hi, my name is Hody and welcome to Breakfast in Beds. Hello everyone and welcome to Breakfast in Beds. I am Holy and today we've got two sets of teams who will be making some nutritious meals. So let's start with the green team. What will you guys be making today? So today we will be making a student classic uh, if you are going to be a student at a university. So firstly we have cornflakes and our second ingredient is semi-skimmed milk. Well what can I say? A gourmet breakfast soup, the cereal. I do love my fair bit of cereal. Let's switch over to the red team. What will you guys be making today? We are going to be making the classic scrambled eggs with oh. two ingredients. We have eggs and some butter. What can I say? Something so simple yet so fulfilling. My favourite type of egg. So, teams, are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Ready, steady, cook. Well, 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 guys, it looks like you are practically done, basically. So, how is your cereal going? Good, just gotta add the milk. We thought cereal first, because that's how you're supposed to do it. Literally, 100%. So, um, whilst we're at it, I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Um, if you need to download a recipe, but do not have a computer, well, what would you might do? Uh, I would probably go to the library because they have computers there and download it off a computer. I mean, fair enough, that is perfect. But did you know that our Bedford and Luton campuses have a laptop <laughs> loan scheme so you could borrow a laptop at any time to help you with your work? Uh, no, but that seems very useful for people that can't afford a laptop, so that's perfect. Great. So if, if you're also running late one morning and you need a quick bite to eat, where can you get yourself a cheap breakfast? Uh, well, I'd probably go somewhere on campus. Um, there's a lot of catering options there. Well, that's perfect. Did you know that in one of our campus restaurants, you can get a full nutritional meal for only £4.10? Literally perfect. I didn't, but that's great for students. Literally great. So let's switch over to the red team. So guys, how are your omelettes doing? We're getting there. Lovely, lovely whisking away, the butter <laughs> frying. Oh, I can, sm I can smell it. It's utterly buttery, isn't it? So um, guys, are you guys worried about the increasing rent prices here? Uh, definitely. My rent has increased quite a dramatic amount since I first started uni. Well, there's no need to worry because in our on-campus <laughs> villages, did you know that we only have a 5% camp, whereas an average is only around 9%. Wow, that's impressive. So in these, in these challenging times, when you're facing some financial issues, do you know where you could get some help? Um, no, I'm not too sure. Well, did you know that we actually have a hardship fund for all students facing financial difficulties? UK, international, undergraduate, postgraduate, we're here to help you no matter what. That's really helpful, thanks. No worries. And let's switch over one more time to the green team. So guys, have you ever heard of the hunger lunch? No, I haven't, what's that? Well, the Treehouse in Luton are offering a one pound lunch meal one day every week to support students during the cost of living crisis. <laughs> These offers are on different days each week to give all the students the opportunity to take it up. Wow, that's unbelievable. That's really good for our students. It really is. And let's, let's go back one more time to the red team. So you've eaten all this food. As you can see, you're making your omelette. And you want to do your fair bit of exercise. Where would you go to have your fair bit of exercise? I actually heard there's a gym on campus, but I'm not too sure about the prices. Well, there's no need to worry because the gym is now free. Our on-campus gym is now actually free. And also, we have many get active schemes. For me, I like to do my fair bit of five aside twice a week. So it's it's a really that sounds really good i'll look that up thanks it really is to enjoy you guys excited for the taste test the rating yeah we think you're really gonna like it uh we think it's gonna be better than their scrambled eggs um <laughs> we spilled some milk a bit but it doesn't matter you're not gonna you're not gonna taste that milk fair enough got a quick question for you guys Go are on. you milk first or cereal first cereal it's the only way to go and you know what they say, slow and steady wins the race. How is your eggs doing? It's getting there, and I bet it's going to taste much better than the cereal. <laughs> oh, I love a bit of fighting talk mm -hmm. right now. I love it. All done. Well, well, well. It looks like our two sets of teams are practically done. How are you guys feeling about your egg? I think we've got a winner here. Oh, <laughs> I'm loving the confidence. Okay teams, it's now over. 
present me your dishes. Oh, okay, okay. We've got red team's famous scrambled eggs and green team's simple breakfast cereal. Enough of the rating, enough of the looks. It's now time for the taste test. Let's start with the scrambled egg. Just gonna add a bit of that, nip it in the bud. Bon appetit. Oh, I mean, simple yet so fulfilling. That was amazing, immaculate scrambled egg. I feel like we've had a Michelin star restaurant in Luton. Wow. <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. I'd give that a solid eight out of 10, really. Thank you. And now it's time for the green team's famous breakfast cereal. Cornflakes, what could go wrong, guys? What could go wrong? I like to get the crispy parts, so I want to get to the top. Mm. Really reminds me of my primary school days. Just pure nostalgia right now, you know what I mean? Right, okay guys, it is time to announce the winner of Breakfast and Beds. And the winner of Breakfast Beds has to be Red Team's famous <laughs> scrambled eggs. Thank you. No problem, guys. I'd like to say thank you so much for watching Breakfast in Beds. I've been Holy, and these two have been our wonderful chefs. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.